Ladies and gentlemen, we are in for something truly special today. Without giving too much away, let me introduce our speaker, Pastor Jean Wanjiko Momanyi. She serves as a youth pastor and administrator at Deliverance Church Eldoret with a remarkable background with both leadership and education. She holds a bachelor's in business administration and marketing, a master's in human resources, an MBA in project management, and she's currently pursuing a PhD in organizational leadership on education. More than her academic achievements, Pastor Jean is a passionate leader, a loving wife to Pastor David Gishana, and a mother to three wonderful children, Brianna, Zemira, and Amariah. She's here today accompanied by her dynamic team to share a message that will truly make us reflect. Now you might be wondering what the topic roses and cherries is all about, but I won't spoil it just yet. All I'll say is this, the message is as captivating and rich as the symbols that surround it. Prepare to be taken on a journey that will challenge your perspectives and inspire your spirit. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome to Pastor Jean Momani. Eros. 
stranger or with another other than her. Reserve this pleasure for you and her alone and do not share it with another. Your sex life will be blessed as you take joy and pleasure in the wife of your youth. Let her breasts be your satisfaction and let her embrace I told you, come away with just one row, no name. We end up in James. So much in James. What I swear. Give me a go pale passion translation. Amen. Where's so much in James? Where for Tilia King James? What did you mean? Listen. Let her breast be your satisfaction and let her embrace intoxicate you at all times. Be continually delighted and ravished with her love. My son, why would you be exhilarated by an adulteress? By embracing a woman who is not you.
gentle and consistently kind to all. It refuses to be jealous. It refuses to be jealous when blessings come to someone else. Love does not brag about one's achievements, nor inflates its own importance. Easily. 
godly relationship. One, I have come to declare this unashamedly without apology. If you confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you must be equally yoked with another believer. You shed your when I know to go to your coca. It's okay. The spirit moves. The name is only my purpose. There is nothing like that. I will repeat again. If you're here and you are dating somebody who is not born again, and you come and get me Missouri to Anandanga PCA, Missouri to Niwa AIC, Anandanga to Kanisa. The issue I have is not them, it is you. As long as you have stood and said, I am born again, Jesus is Lord over my life. Where, 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 what the Bible says. Do not continue to team up with unbelievers. Kama unataka enda kinchot. Do not be equally yoked. Sasawa, do not continue to team up with unbelievers in mismatched alliances. For what partnership is there between righteousness and rebellion? Who could mingle light and darkness? What harmony can there be between Christ and Satan? What does a believer have in common? So, he puts a
not change yourself, neither don't you change God. He is well able. Come on, Jackie. 
carry on into your relationship. There is no difference. So you must be founded on the Lord's word. If the word of the Lord says be kind, you must be kind in and out of a relationship. If the word of the Lord says that you pray and you fast, you should do it in or out. You should not only be fasting when the boy has said he's going to break up with you. You should not be fasting only when you find out that the girl you wanted is now dating another guy. Then Jesus, Jesus.
married, they are just open. Sawa sawa. How many do not want? Uko tu sawa. Sasa, wale wengine wote muko wapi? Which category is this that I'm not hitting? Wewe, niambie hiyo category ni gani? Ama yenu ni ya kuhanya tu mnataka ku What category are you? You don't want, you don't, you're not searching and you're not in a relationship. What are you? You're not in a healthy relationship. 
if the person you're with you do not have an attraction to that person you do not have a brotherly love to that person and you do not have unconditional agape love God love for them please leave them alone please leave them alone do you hear me so eros love will make you attracted to someone filial love is your friend and a lot of people are dating and they are not friends listen i'm telling you from person who has been married for over 30 years sexual love fades
he is supposed to know what that woman is supposed to eat. Mnanielewa? And unless she has agreed to eat bread and milk, you are the one who is supposed to make sure. Kama tukitoka hapa si tutembee hivi tunaenda dom. Yaani atokee hivi na wewe ndo wa kwanza take. You are not ready for marriage. Oh. You are not. You are not. Yenye ni wale wa say mwizi atakuja kwa nyumba mnaambia mke enda enda inaka. Ah si wanaume wa kuoa. Ah si wanaume wa kuoa. Unanielewa? Am I making sense? And if you're a lady do you those are the, the things if you're going out with a girl. She cannot even put a budget together. Eh? Hata ukipatia 200 200 within an hour it will be finished achana na huyo baby there is a maturity she has not got into and in truth there is no pressure we all mature at different ages and stages sawa sawa the other thing that is very important as to when you should date is in the lord's time so there is this illusion that has been put that you must do in your 20s up or by 30 and a half weeks I was fighting 
first. Either your mom ako na maskuembe, ama amejuliza kama mimi amekula chuma. Kwa sababu mimi kusema ukweli ni kikombo lazima tufanye. Sio tu tena hospitali sisi Your life, low self esteem. 
esteem is not your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You ought to be praying for yourself. Because you know where you are hurting. Ah, Young lady, I pray for courage. I pray for courage to stand for yourself. Abuse is not your portion. Abuse is not your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rakata bakora bababosha. Sexual immorality. You are not permitted in their lives anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every demon of sexual immorality, we cast you out now in Jesus' name. You have no authority. Spirit of pornography, I break you now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Ekababosha. Soul ties, soul ties, soul ties. Come on, pray. Pray, 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 pray. If you have been in a sexual relationship, I need you to pray and break every sexual tie. Ah, break it. Break it. Detach yourself. Detach yourself from Kemani. Detach yourself from Atieno. Detach yourself from their spirits. Detach yourself. Detach yourself. Detach yourself. Shakaira baba 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 shaka. Rekata tere bekanda ramasha ya rababa. Detach. Detach. Hey. Those of you who have been in perverted relationships. Ah, the Lord can restore. Shake a reba kanda raba shanda raba ba. Reka te te rebe kanda raba shanda. Akata raba ba 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 bosha. Every feeling of homosexuality, I cancel you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every lesbian feeling, I cancel you in the mighty name of Jesus. Shake a na Messiah. It is a lie. It is a lie. God did not make you to love women. God did not make you to love the same sex. Our God is not a God of confusion. Come on, you're breaking it over yourself. You are confessing your own. Shikabora kota maruka nara masaya. Ah, talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. He knows. Holy Spirit moves. Holy Spirit moves. Holy Spirit moves. Holy Spirit moves. Holy Spirit touch. Jehovah touch. Oh Spirit of God. Convict them of their sin. Holy Spirit of God. Restore them to yourself. Jehovah restores hope. Change the narrative of their relationships, O oh God. Change the narrative, O oh God. Change the narrative, O oh God. Change the narrative, O oh God. Break the chain of the enemy over their lives. Break it, Jehovah. Break it, Jehovah. Heal them, O oh God. Heal them, O oh God. Let your anointing fall upon them, Jehovah. Let your anointing fall upon them. Holy Spirit, move. Every spirit of stubbornness, I come against you in Jesus' name. Every spirit of self-righteousness, I come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let their hearts be 
moved by you. Father, let there be a true confession to you. Shaka taba kondoro basata. Zeke taba kondoro bashika kata basuta. Reke tete taba kondoro bashe adala baba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want us to make a prayer. And I don't want all of you to do it. If you don't feel convicted to do this prayer, please don't. Don't, don't fake it. Honestly. But I want us to pray. And I want to pray about your future. You see, you cannot control anybody but yourself. One of the prayers I made as a single person, I declared that the man who would marry me would marry treasure. I declared that I was going to be worth it. Jesus. Make a commitment. 
commitment with Jesus. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you. May the Lord honor you. May the Lord lift you up. May the Lord cause you to walk in righteousness. May the Lord cause you to walk in holiness and purity. May the Lord make you an oak of righteousness. The planting of the Lord for his splendor. May the Lord use you as a signboard for his glory. May the Lord use you to shame the devil. May the Lord use you to change your family's generational curses. May the Lord come and touch you and change you. May you be different. Tell the Lord. If nobody has ever gotten married in your family, tell him you are going to be the first. Hey! Tell him, tell him. Make a commitment with the Lord. As for me, Jehovah, nobody in my family has ever gotten married without getting children. Jehovah, I am going to walk down the aisle without children. Ah! Nobody in my family is not a second wife. I will not be a second wife. My father, my uncles, everybody are going to pack our candle. Mimi sita kuwa na mpago wa kando. Mimi nitapenda mke wangu. Pray, pray, pray. The Lord is listening. The Holy Spirit is listening. It's a personal covenant. Make your covenant. Make your covenant with the Lord. Make your covenant with the Lord. Shekata baba babos. Rikando rama shekete masekete maso. Kamboro baza kate raba kora bashiki. Zika tete teba kosho koto bakunda rama za. Ambika reba kora baboze kete ba. Tobara kasa kate bako shekete makunda. Tiboro baba babo sekete basu. Hakata yena wa. Rabo shakata babo sa. Temba raba zoko toba shukutu mako. Oh yes Lord. Oh yes Lord. In Jesus name. Finally. If there is anybody in this room. Who has backslidden. Or you're not born again. Truly you have not confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And you would like to do that today. Please raise your hand. I'll pray with you. If anybody wants to welcome Jesus Christ into their hearts as their Lord and Savior. Anybody? Peace.
out every enemy that runs after them. Every addiction that they have. Every struggle that they go through. Jehovah that you're the God that can teach them to walk in freedom. Jehovah that you can teach them to walk in holiness. Jehovah you are able. But Lord, I pray the most that they make it to heaven. I pray the most that they will love you with all their hearts, with all their souls, with all their minds. I pray that God, no matter what comes in their life, they will hold on to Jesus. The author and the finisher of their faith, Jehovah. Lord, capture their hearts. Rescue them all. Whatever is ahead of them, my Jesus, may they learn how to pray. May they learn to call upon your name. May they know that you're the unchanging God that will fight for them. Your name is Jaira. You are the Lion of Judah. You will fight for them, oh God. If they stand up for you, that you will stand up for them. Take them to many nations, oh God. Cause them to rise up in every arena, Almighty Father. Prosper them in every way, my God. But may they never leave you. May they know the joy of being your servants. May they know the joy of walking with you. God, may they not be sick, double-minded. Give them the strength. Strengthen them, Holy Spirit. Make them great for your kingdom. Save them and save their families. Save their mothers and their fathers and their brothers and their sisters, their uncles and their aunties, their grandparents, oh God. Save them, save them. And meet the desires of their hearts. I worship you, God, because I know it is God. And whether I hear the testimonies of God in heaven, I will await to hear. Appreciate her better. Appreciate yourself and appreciate God. Yeah, so thank you so much for being a part of this fellowship. I believe it's been yeah, it's been amazing. There's something we have gotten, each and every one of us. And thank you so much. We are sorry for the time spillage. Yeah walk in groups on Sunday. We are reminded we have AGM. It will be immediately after the first service at exactly 9.30 a.m. So purpose to be here and to be a part of AGM because even the quorum matters. We require a certain percentage of members to be in the AGM so that it can start. Also, breakfast or refreshment will be served as the AGM continues. So don't worry about uh, coming and going to take breakfast, then you come. You can still get that uh, breakfast at in the, as the AGM continues. So thank you so much. My name is Masi Jerob, a fourth year student. Uh, it's been a pleasure serving you as the vice chairperson. Thank you so much and may God bless you. You can share the words of grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us now.